Let's take the footage from this to this. And all I did was change the color space to Black Magic Design Gen 5 color. Okay, so I'm in DaVinci Resolve Studio 18 and I'm in the color tab right now. And you can see that I put in the FX30 footage straight off the camera. It was recorded in SLog3 Cine here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over to my node tree window here. So we're gonna right click on this node, click add node, add serial. And then we're gonna come up, make sure our effects tab is checked up here. And then we're gonna come over and hit under resolve FX color. We're gonna click on color space transform and then we're gonna drag that over. And here's where a lot of the magic's gonna happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to input color space and we're gonna drag this down to where we see Sony S gamma 3 Cine. And then for the input gamma, we're gonna go down to S log three. And then for the output color space, we're gonna come down and go to Black Magic Design Wide Gamut Gen 4 5. And then for our output gamma, we're gonna scroll down and go to Black Magic Design Film Gen 5. Okay, and then next, we're gonna come back to our node window, right click on our latest node, go to Add Node, Add Serial. Okay, so we're gonna add a LUT to this third node here. And the nice thing is that this LUT does come with DaVinci Resolve Studio. So I'm gonna right click here. Go to LUTs, go to Blackmagic Design. Okay, so we're gonna come down and click on Blackmagic Gen Fine Film to Extended Video. Okay, so we're gonna start with some basic color grading here. So I'm gonna come over and click on my first node. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna grade off the SLUG3. And then as we grade it, it's gonna be converting into the Blackmagic Film Color Science. Okay, so we're gonna come down to our basic color wheel here and we're gonna click on Contrast. I'll change that to 1.6. 1.066 and again you can adjust these values to whatever feels the best for you there's no right or wrong answer here so for highlights we'll change that to negative 2.50 and then for the saturation we'll bring that up to about 74. So again we don't want to go overkill on the saturation that's always an easy mistake to make when you color grade Okay, so now we're gonna hop on over to our HDR wheel and let's just make sure we get our settings correct so we can grade an HDR. So we're gonna come over to our option menu here, these little three dots, click on that, go to color space, change the color space to Sony S Gamma 3 Cine, and then we'll change our gamma to Sony S Lock 3, and then we'll change our exposure to negative dot 68. Now, what's nice about adjusting the HDR highlights here is, is it makes the highlight roll off look more like a Blackmagic camera here because on Sony's, the, the highlights tend to clip pretty fast. And so that corrects that and makes the roll off a little bit more smooth here, a little bit more film-like and Blackmagic-like here. Okay, and then let's go over to our curve tab here and we'll just bring down our exposure a little bit here. And again, at this step, you guys can really grade this to whatever looks best for you. Okay, so there you have it. That is how you convert Sony SLOG3 footage into Blackmagic footage.